All right, we are live. Hey, everyone, this is Lisa Torres here, and you are right now on the Prosperity Team. Uh, hang on, I kind of got tongue-tied there for a second. You're on the Prosperity Team Wednesday night hangout that we do every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Uh, tonight, I hope you guys are ready because... We have some exciting training for you. Um, it's training that has worked for us for many years um, since we've been using YouTube. And I know there's a lot of you that love doing videos, but you're just not getting the kind of results that you're looking for. And so this is one of my favorite topics because I love to do videos. And Nat, who's hanging out with me tonight, uh, he loves videos too. He's been doing video marketing for a while. But before we get into all of that, let me introduce myself really quickly for everyone that's new here. Um, just in case you're here and you're like, who the hell is this woman? <laughs> so let me introduce myself and then I'm going to introduce, I'm going to bring out Nat and let him introduce himself. And then we're going to kind of get into the training um, so that you guys can start going out there, could go out there and start dominating YouTube. Okay, so if you're excited about that, before I introduce myself, if you're excited about that, if you're excited about learning how to dominate YouTube and start generating leads and sales with your YouTube videos, then go ahead and post Scream in the chat box below. Scream, I want to see it. I'm actually looking right now. I'm going to refresh my screen, and I want you guys to scream if you are ready, 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 ready. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. All right. I know we're probably on a little slight delay. <laughs> All right. So I know I'm going to start seeing uh, everyone. There's about, wow, we have a full house tonight. We have 314 people listening in right now. So that is awesome, and a lot of people are on our team, and a lot of people are have never been here before and have never seen us before and don't even know what we're up to, but we're going to share that with you later at the end of this call uh, and show you exactly what we're up to. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. All right, so let me find my screen here so I can get back to introduce myself. Okay, again, my name is Lisa Torres. Uh, this is the Prosperity Team Hangout that you are on right now uh, for Empower Network. Um, this is the system that we use to build our business online uh, and generate leads and sales through YouTube. So we're going to kind of talk a little bit about that too as well. Uh, I have been in this industry since 2008. Um, you know, I've been using YouTube when my, I first got my start. It was with YouTube. When I started uh, marketing online, I started with YouTube because at that time, that was really um, all there was. It was that in MySpace, and those were really the two things that I was using. And, um, you know, in the past year, uh, actually a past year and a half, I've been using the system that we're going to share with you uh, tonight at the end of this hangout, at the end of this training. And this is this very same exact system because I've had a lot of success through the years, but this is the system that I started using where the breakthroughs started happening. And over the last year and a half, I've earned over $115,000 with this system. Now, we're going to be throwing some numbers out there for you. So, with that being said, let me just throw a disclaimer before I bring on Nat. The income that we actually share with you here is not to brag or boast or anything like that. It's to share with you guys that we're regular people, right? We're regular people who have dreams, who have goals, who have um, aspirations to do things, to do big things. And we just want to share our results with you because we know what's possible for you. We know what's possible for you. So the income disclaimer is very, very simple. Just because we made money does not mean that you will. Just because we made money with YouTube and blogging and you know Facebook and all these different avenues that you can make money online with does not mean that you will because our results are not typical because we're not typical. We work hard. So if you're ready to play the game and you're ready to learn some YouTube marketing tonight, which is part of the working hard, right? If you're ready to dominate 
and you're ready to plug in and just you know go out there and show the world what you're made of then get excited my friend because that's exactly what we're going to share with you tonight so welcome to tonight's hangout um, with that being said uh, I am going to bring one of my very good friends uh, well, we actually met online a few years ago we've been friends for about I don't know three maybe four years now um, and I've known Nat for you know that that many years we met online and he's an awesome person an awesome trainer and you're just gonna absolutely love this guy as much as I love him because he's awesome his personality is awesome his energy is awesome and I just love this dude so with that being said Nat go ahead and take it away and introduce yourself my friend awesome well Thank you very much for the introduction, Lisa. Um, yeah, we have known each other for a long time. It's just funny, like how the internet brings people together, and then you meet them in the real world, and you know you just become that much closer. It's so cool, and that's what I really love about our community. It's it's just really awesome. And uh, so yeah, I'll give you guys a quick backstory on myself. Uh, I really want to just you know get into the training and stuff, so I'm not going to keep you guys too long from all the good stuff. But a quick backstory because it does relate to video marketing. Um, I've been an entrepreneur more or less forever. I used to have a snowboard and skateboard shop uh, in my hometown, and I'm still really big into snowboarding. And for any of you that have seen any of my videos, if you're friends on Facebook, I've been snowboarding a lot lately. And that's just what's really cool about this business is that we're able to have that kind of lifestyle where we can do whatever it is that we want to do. And what's cool, because I'm actually shooting videos while I'm doing those things, I'm really showing off the lifestyle that I'm able to live as a result. And uh, people really resonate with it, so it's really cool. Plus, I just like looking back and remembering, oh man, that was a sweet day at the hill. So, so super cool stuff. But yeah, I got started online about five years ago. And I actually got started in uh, internet network marketing. And very quickly, I found um, video marketing. And I actually started doing that for local businesses. And I actually left network marketing to pursue local business marketing. And I still do that today, although I don't uh, really focus on growing it as much. But uh, I have made a lot of money doing that side of things as well as this side. And um, it's really cool. And so what you're going to learn tonight, you can do this if you're growing Empower Network or some other uh, internet business or you're just an affiliate. Or you can actually do it for local businesses as well. Um, which is really cool because that's a huge possibility in itself. So mm -hmm. it just really comes down to how creative you know do you want to get with this because there's a lot of potential with it when you know how to leverage uh, video. And so anyway, I've got a, uh, a presentation here for you guys. And uh, Lisa, how the heck do I share my screen against the green button, right? Yes, just click on the green button and then click full screen. Okay, start screen share. Okay, so maybe if uh, Lisa or anyone down below here can let me know that you guys yeah, are seeing this. Yeah, I see this. it. Okay, I cool, cool. It. Okay, so yeah, of course, everybody, as we're going through this, if you have any questions, comment below so Lisa can read it. Um, there is a lot of content here tonight, and so I want to try to get through as much as I possibly can so I can give everybody watching the goods here. And, um, of course, if we have time left over, then you know we'll answer more questions at the end here. So basically tonight in a nutshell, you're going to learn how to get more leads and more sales in whatever business it is, whether it's Empower or affiliate marketing or whatever, and that's with video SEO. And I know that SEO sounds really scary. It's not really, and to be honest, it actually is quite a bit easier uh, with video. Um, here's a nice little photo. This is just a little bit of proof to show you that I do know what I'm talking about. I'm actually holding up checks here. I think it's like $3,100. And this is from a, a local business client of mine um, that, again, you know, I, I do stuff for them. So this just, you know, shows you that there's possibilities with this. Um, this is a screenshot of uh, a product launch where I was an affiliate for it. And I actually got uh, four different results on the front page of, uh, I think this was YouTube, but I actually am on the front page of Google with it as well. Um, and you'll see here in the top box that the very first result is actually the YouTube channel that I created. And I'll show you how I did that in a bit. Uh, the, underneath that is a video. And then actually we have uh, two other videos down below that. And the reason for that is because I created a lot of authority with that channel around very specific keywords. And uh, we're going to dive right into all of that. And uh, make sure that you stay to the end because I'm actually going to give you guys a video cheat sheet 
So, I mean, obviously do take notes, right? Um, you know, I don't have everything in my cheat sheets, but there's a lot of good stuff that you can refer back to so when you shoot your videos that uh, you can just refer back to that and make sure that you haven't left anything out. Uh, a couple things to remember. Google and YouTube, they're changing all the time, right? So, you know, some things are going to change, but for the most part, the, the stuff that I teach and the stuff that I practice in my own business is stuff that is really built for longevity, right? And uh, there's actually been some really big changes in video marketing within the last week, so this is actually really good timing, and I am going to address some of that stuff in a bit. But, you know, there, there are ways to game the system, but if you play things you know, nicely, I guess, or sort of, you know, sort of play by Google and YouTube's terms that, um, you know, you're going to be around for a lot longer with your rankings. So that's really important. And um, I am going to cover a lot of different things, but just know you don't have to do every single one of these because I know some people are going to get intimidated by, you know, showing all this information. And don't worry, you don't have to do everything. The thing is, like anything, you just have to do one thing more or sometimes a couple things more than what your competition is doing, right? So, you know, you can start off by doing a handful of things and if you're not getting the desired results, then just do a couple things more, a couple things more, and then hopefully you are going to get on page one or number one, right? So just keep that in mind. Just don't let it uh, be too intimidating for you. And don't overcomplicate things. I'm really just going to give you the formula. Um, as well as in the cheat sheet again at the end. So just make sure just to follow things, um, follow the steps because this stuff works. Like I said, I, I do it for local clients. I do it in my own business and I get leads and I, I get sales. Um, that uh, example with the Facebook uh, course for the product launch I did, I can't remember exactly how much I made with it, but you know, it was probably 1500 bucks or something like that. So nothing to sneeze at for you know throwing up a couple of videos really, right? Um, and then, of course, like anything that you learn, take consistent action. And um, I just really want to mention here, I, I, one of the biggest things that uh, you know people have uh, mistakes with online is they get overwhelmed. They're trying to do too many things at once, and uh, they just don't take action at all. So really focus on one strategy, or you know, get really good at that, and then you know, focus on another one, whether it's video or not. But uh, you know, I, I'm big on video. I know Lisa's big on video, and it's because. Video is really powerful. I mean, it, it's a great way to build trust, build relationships, build up rapport, and uh, people just like watching video. I, I really like watching video a lot more than reading blog posts personally, and a lot of people are that same way, so video is good stuff. Um, so some different ideas for getting organic traffic with video, and this is what I do, and I'm going to just you know say that I think most people on this Hangout right now most of us are in network marketing in some way, shape, or form, whether it's with Empowered Network or not. So doing different company reviews on uh, different uh, network marketing companies is uh, is a really big one, and that's how I've gotten a lot of my leads right there, and we're going to, of course, get into that a bit more. Um, product reviews, similar to the uh, the product launch I just shared with you guys a couple of seconds ago. And uh, this is a good one. You know, different authors or books or gurus, you know, um, people who are in your industry who people look up to. So you might want to do, you know, videos on Tony Robbins or Think and Grow Rich, that kind of thing. So, of course, just get creative, you know, think outside the box. If it's, a, you know, a new book launch that just came out, like, um, you know, Jab, Jab, Right Hook um, by Gary Vaynerchuk, that's really popular. Maybe you want to do a book review on that. And then, of course, you know, tying that into making money online or something you, you know, are doing with uh, whatever business it is that you're promoting. Um, obviously, affiliate marketing, uh, make money online related stuff, and of course, you know the list goes on and on. Um, so different keywords that are going to be around make money online type of stuff. So uh, here's a bit of a pre-video checklist of some things for you to do. Is obviously you want to make sure to do keyword research, and a lot of people get intimidated by it. It can be a little daunting. But um, I do it really simply, especially in our um, in our industry, and I'll show you exactly what that is in just a couple seconds. And basically, I just go to uh, like MLM Watchdog or any other uh, type of uh, network marketing industry uh, re uh, w review website, and I just take company name review or reviews plural, right? And 
boom, there's your keyword research. It's really that simple because, you know, if people, let's say that uh, you got Joe and Joe was hit up by, uh, you know, his Uncle Tom or something like that, and, of course, he's just kind of checking it out uh, for himself, most people are going to type in something along the lines of company name review, whether it's, you know, Vaisalis reviews or Amway reviews or whatever. So that one's super easy. People are looking for it, and I'm ranking for a lot of different uh, uh, MLM company reviews as a keyword. Um, slight variation of that is company name opportunity, uh, company name business opportunity, company name pay plan, and all that type of stuff. And this one, I know a lot of people go for it, company name scam. I stay away from it. And the reason for that, if somebody is looking for it to be a scam, then guess what? It is. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, they're right either way. And people that are looking for it to be a scam, that's not really the right sort of mentality of someone um, that I want to work with, right? They're, they're looking to be proven that this thing doesn't work, right? And now, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm pretty sure Lisa would agree with me that I don't want to look with someone who's already thinking negative right off of the start. So personally, I avoid that, but you can go for it if you want. You can get traffic that way. I agree with you, Nat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's just there's so many positive type keywords that just go for that instead. And uh, of course, always set your intentions. And this is something that, you know, inside of Empower Network, we talk a lot about. Um, Dave Wood goes super deep into this stuff. And so set your intentions before the video. And what I mean by that is thinking, okay, what do I want to achieve with this video? Because as you're creating the video, if you have that intention in mind, it's going to come across. So if you, you know, want people to resonate with who you are and really appreciate the value of the honest review that you're putting together, if that's what it is, um, then say that. If it's, I want uh, people to really resonate with me and I want them to uh, click on the link and see what I've got, then, you know, you kind of just get into that state. And, of course, when you have your call to action at the end, then you're going to be that much more vibrant about it and people are going to do what you say. Um, now, I don't do this as much, and, of course, it comes with practice. Um, I kind of just wing it, but, you know, depending on what kind of personality you are or how prepared you are, you might want to write a script beforehand, and that's totally okay. The way I do it, I have my idea in mind, I've got my intention set, and I just slam through it. And sometimes I do a few different takes. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I like to get things as perfect as possible. And so if I don't get it right the first couple of times, you know, maybe I'll shoot it four times. But I don't wait for it to be perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, if it's good enough, I'll throw it up. Um, but if you do write a script, you want to make sure that you're actually saying your keyword at the very beginning, in the middle, a couple times. I mean, once is good enough, but you can kind of sprinkle in a couple times. And then again, right at the very end. And the reason for that is because YouTube uh, and, and Google, I guess, they have software that actually picks up uh, what you're saying and they actually um, transcribe it. And granted, they don't do a very good job of it, which I'll show you here in a second. But um, if you say that, it actually makes your video more relevant to the keyword that you're trying to rank for. So case in point, if I'm trying to do, let's say, a video for Vaisalis reviews, I'd say something like, hey, this is Nat Green here. I'm just putting together a Vaisalis review video for you here. Blah, 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 Vaisalis reviews, blah, blah, blah. I hope you enjoyed my Vaisalis reviews video. Something along those lines, and I think uh, you guys get that there. Um, then next we've got a pre-upload checklist. So once we've done all those things, we want to make sure that we've got a few things down right before we actually upload our video to YouTube. Now this is a big one right here is that we want to make sure that our uh, video file itself is actually named the keyword. So you know whether it's AVI or MOV or whatever, it doesn't matter. But in this case, it'd be vysalisreviews.mp4 if, if that's the video that uh, I just shot. Okay, um, the extension doesn't matter. What you know whether it's MOV, MP4, AVI. That doesn't really matter. Just making sure that your uh, video is actually called your keyword. And now you'll see here that I have dashes between the words. That doesn't really matter. I don't think some people might test it and say one way or another. But whether you have dashes in between the words or not, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. Um, don't know why I have that script or that slide again. And um, something that I also do is I always create, well, I shouldn't say, I don't, I don't always do this, but if I want to get super, uh, super specific, especially if 
it's around a competitive keyword, then I actually create a new channel for that keyword. And when I create the new channel, I actually use a Gmail address with the keyword in the address. So by Reviews at gmail.com would be that example or whatever the keyword is. Now I should mention here that for whatever reason, if that keyword, or sorry, if that uh, Gmail address is already taken, don't worry about it. You can just throw um, like a you know number one or number two at the end. Doesn't matter. Just make sure that you have the keyword as close to being as exact as you want. If you want to throw in an extra word to it, an extra number, you can definitely do that. And then of course you're going to create a new YouTube channel with the keyword in the name, right? Now again, you don't have to do this every single time. This is just if you want to get, you know, super, uh, you know, super laser targeted, uh, you can do this. Okay. So I'll show examples of that in a second here. So in this case, YouTube.com/keyword would be in place of your username. So in this case here, now th this this shows it exactly that uh, for the FB Ads University review that I did that I showed you earlier, you'll see here right in the center, that's what I called my channel. So, And you'll see, oh, actually, um, it says other choices. This was the uh, Gmail address that I used. So YouTube is just asking me, do I want to display it as the word or as the Gmail address? Either one is correct. I just think that this one up top here looks a little cleaner. So Lisa, any questions so far before I get going too further? Yes, actually, um, we have one question, and I don't think it's necessary that we answer this question right now. Okay. We'll probably keep it towards the end because you're okay. probably going to cover this anyway. Okay, and cool, it's cool. basically what video editing program do you use? But we'll, I'm sure you'll cover that later. Right. Um, um, actually, you know what? You know what? I don't actually, but um, I, I'm on a Mac. I use um, iMovie and or ScreenFlow, sometimes okay. a combination of both. But uh, if you're on a PC, uh, Windows Movie Maker is one, uh, Camtasia, Jing, those types of programs you can use uh, for those. Um, and I need to learn. I've got Final Cut Pro, which I bought, <laughs> I've had for so long, but I need to learn how to do it. But that's more advanced stuff. But Yeah. My, my question is um, actually, Nat, yep. is you mentioned uh, creating a new YouTube channel, which is connected with the Gmail account. Yeah. But... You know, because I've done that too, and I've ran out of um, like you know when you're when you're creating a new Gmail account, you have to confirm that account with your cell phone. Yeah. And so at some point, you're gonna get a message that's at, at least I experienced that yeah. where I've gotten a message where it um it says sorry you use this number like way too many times. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's something like 16, I think. I could be wrong on that. But you're right and that's a great point actually. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, so a couple things that you can do is a use your girlfriend or boyfriend's phone number, which maybe I've done before. Um, also you can go to Fiverr and actually have people create accounts for you. Um, the downside to doing that is and in a way it's not even really that much of a downside. Um, if you, because the, the phone numbers have to be phone verified and I think that they use uh, what are called PVAs, which are phone verified accounts. So they'll actually verify them when they create them for you. If you upload a video and I think it's 20 minutes, um, anything over that time limit that you have to re-verify it. But most of your videos, I mean, should be shorter than that anyway. Three to five minutes, and I mean I'm guilty of going longer than that too. But three to five minutes is really the the length of time that you want to do. So that's what I would suggest. But um, there's actually an app, and I just learned this from Boris, who's also on our team a while ago. Um, the app is I think it's Burner. I got it on my phone here. One sec. There's something that I want to add to that too when you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The app's called Burner. Um, I've got it on Android. I think it was for iPhone as well too. And um, you can, I think it's like a buck or something, like a buck or two buck per per listing. But um, I would suggest just go the Fiverr route because you can actually get like, I can't remember, like 20 at, at a time for five bucks. So, I mean, you can go pretty hog wild for, for five bucks right there. Awesome. And now as far as uh, creating accounts, now what you could do is now with the new feature inside of YouTube, 
you can actually create unlimited channels on the same account. Oh, that's right. That's right. And I'll actually show you guys if 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 you if you don't, if you don't know how to do it, Nat. I'll actually show everybody. I'll I'll share my screen and show everyone. Yeah, exactly. yeah, no, that's good. I I've heard that because that's pretty new. But to be honest, I haven't done that yet. So that's yeah, awesome. I'll, I'll show it. I'll show it later when you're done with your presentation. Cool, cool. So I, I appreciate that. Always nice to <laughs> learning something when I'm on the other side of the hangout. Um, so you'll see here basically that in this case, FB Ads University Review, like that's how it shows up. That was my keyword there. Um, we'll get into some other stuff in a second that you can see on the screen. But um, So like anything, when Google, or in this case YouTube, they ask for information, the more information that you can give them, the better. So fill out as much information within the channel description. And of course, remember to add some of your keywords in the profile. Um, but I do want to mention, don't go overboard with this. Some people get crazy with uh, keyword stuffing, it's called, where it's just like throwing your keyword like 20 times in stuff. Don't do that. You know, I would put it in like one time per line with some other text to kind of dilute it down. So don't go crazy, but wherever there is a spot to put your keyword in, I would suggest doing so. Um, and then upload some channel art. And something I do when I, when I do this is actually I name the, you know, if it's a JPEG file, or GIF or whatever is actually name it keyword.jpg. Okay, and you'll see here that there's an example of the description. So I actually did uh, two different keywords here. So FB Ads University Review and FB Ads University Bonus Information can be found here and blah blah blah. Right, and then you'll also see here down below that um, you can add links within your channel, and so these are actually uh, hypertext or sorry anchor text links. So I did one for FB Ads University Review, which was my main keyword, and then FB Ads University Bonus, which was my secondary keyword. Okay. Yeah. Also, let me throw something in there too, Nat. Yep. Um, some people were asking if you use the unlimited channels on a one account, what happens when your account gets flagged three times and <laughs> shuts it down? Well, yes. If that happens, then yes. You're yeah. at risk of yeah. losing all of your channels, yeah. but you know, hey, that's that. It is what it is. So right. if you can take the time to actually go out there and create several accounts, then go ahead and do that. If you want to take the lazy route and risk it, and create a bunch of different, different channels on one account, hey, that's the price you have to pay if you want yeah. to go that route. Yeah, there, there, there's pros and cons with both of those, and I will address those uh, in a bit here. But that's a great question for sure. Because I actually have lost my main channel twice. Once, I swear, it was the day I thought of actually taking it down. Because, of course, a lot of people were flagging uh, Empower videos. Luckily, I was able to get it back both times. But still, I was choked. Because, I mean, my main channel I've had for years. <laughs> so I was really mad when that happened. It's not really something that I want to you know, lose. So, yeah, definitely pros and cons there. Um, so, yeah. So basically, so just this is just examples. I mean, this is pretty straightforward stuff here. Just throw in your keyword in your tagline, in your introduction, you know, secondary keywords, um, linking back to my channel uh, and specific videos. Um, I actually, in this case, now I'm not saying you always have to do this, but because it was a launch that I really wanted to dominate, I actually went out and bought a domain and created a, a I mean, a, I think it was like a two or three page website built around the uh, the product, the review, the bonuses and stuff. And so you'll notice here that it, my website was fbadsuniversityreview.com as well. So, you know, that's taking things one step further, but if you really want to go hard with a launch or whatever, then, you know, be my guest. Um, and this is basically how you do the, uh, the anchor text label. So you'll see here on this, um, on this slide, that in the top box it says FB Ads University Bonus, right? So that's my uh, secondary keyword, and then I use my actual link in the box below that. Um, with of course, make sure you have the HTTP colon slash slash, and then once I hit save, it just makes that uh, clickable uh, in anchor tech links. Um, okay, so here's we're gonna get into some stuff now. A lot of people know this stuff. If like this, I mean, so much of this is common knowledge. But if you're new, a lot of the stuff uh, you're not going to know, so we're going to cover this. So uh, now here's the cool thing is when you title your video um, file, the keyword, then when you upload it, YouTube automatically takes that file name and makes it your title. So it kind of already does it for you if you've done one of the first steps correctly. 
Okay. Now, what I would suggest with this, and some people uh, will say different on this, but some people would say put in your keyword twice. So, example would be like, you know, FB Ads University review slash an honest FB Ads University review or something like that. I think that's keyword stuffing. That might work right now, but I think as YouTube uh, evolves, that you're going to get slapped on that. What I would suggest is have your title once, so you or Facebook Ads University review, and then check out, you know, click here to see why you need to get this, or you know, something where it's more compelling. It creates a little bit of curiosity, um, that kind of thing, right? So hopefully that makes sense, because keyword stuffing, um, it, it's not going to work forever. So this is one of those things that's a little bit more longevity. So company name review, like I just said here. And then in this case, basically I just said, oh, I, you know what, though? I did this I did this like in September. So um, I did a slight variation of it, FB Ads University Review dash honest review for FB Ads University. So it's just a little bit of a twist on that. It's not exactly uh, right there. And uh, the description starts with your keyword. So the very first thing I do is put my keyword there, and then of course I always put my uh, my URL, and again w making sure that I have the HTTP colon slash slash, because if you just put www dot website, it's not clickable. People are lazy; they're not going to copy and paste. You want to make sure that it's clickable, and the reason that you want to put the link like right after your keyword, and I do see some people put it before your keyword. But in my opinion, if you put your keyword first, Google's going to see that it's there. It's more relevant. Um, but if you put your uh, website link way down in the description, YouTube only shows like two or three lines. So if it's down further below, people aren't going to see it. They're less likely to click on it, which means they're less likely to go to your lead capture page or affiliate page or whatever it is that you're promoting. So make sure that it's right there front and center. Um, clickable link right there, just like I said. So boom, right there in red. And um, if you want to do any tracking, of course, you can use Bitly or the Google URL shortener. And if you're using those um, with Bitly anyway, I don't think Google does it, but um, you can put, uh, you can actually create the the URL so it has your keyword in it. Of course, with the Prosperity team, we're so awesome to have the uh, URL shortener. So linkprosperity.com/keyword if it's available. Um, okay, so your description has uh, your script, which if you went ahead and pre-scripted things, then you can just go whammo and paste it in there. If you want to outsource this, you can you can do it. So after you've created your video, you could send it to somebody on Fiverr, pay them five bucks. Um, I kind of sometimes just, just wing it, or I actually use a software called Dragon Dictate, and they have a Mac version and a PC version. And so myself, I can kind of just, you know, spout stuff off the top of my head than I like to type. So I'll just kind of like, blah, <laughs> just throw it out there, have Dragon dictate dictate it for me or transcribe it, and then I paste that in there, and then, um, you know, away you go. You can do, if you want to go to uh, like ezinearticles.com or something like that, you can get another article or something that's already been written for you if it's around the keyword. But what I would suggest if you do that, and it's kind of a cheating way, but whatever, but if you were to do that, I would always have the author's name just to give them credit. If you want to put a link back to their article or whatever, you're more than welcome to do that. But don't just blatantly plagiarize. Obviously, that's not cool. And then, of course, make sure at the end of the description, it ends with your keyword. And I always like to put my social media profiles in there as well. Like if you liked what you uh, heard in this video, Let's connect on Facebook. Let's connect on, you know, subscribe to YouTube, that sort of thing. And then, of course, a call to action. But make sure that you're just... Hey, Nat, your audio died out. Not sure what just happened. It has the keyword at the end of it. Leave the field after. What I would suggest is do two, maybe three variations of your keyword. So in the in the instance of Vaisalus Review, I would go Vaisalus Reviews, Vaisalus Business Review, something along those lines. Maybe other slight variations of it that are relatable. And um, I actually didn't put this in the slide here, but this is a super ninja tip where I actually always start putting my own uh, name and channel name in my tags as well. 
because what happens, and a lot of people will realize that after you watch your video, it shows you other related videos, or of course it shows videos in the uh, in the sidebar there. And what's cool when you put your own channel name or your own name in that, and if you do that with all of the videos on that channel, then guess what happens? It actually starts showing all of your videos instead of everybody else's videos. And um, I was just looking at one of my channels today, and I think there's like 20 different uh, related uh, videos on the side, and uh, half of them are mine just because I've been doing this. And I've actually seen some people where if they have enough videos on their channel that they'll actually take up all 20. So that's really cool. So it kind of just keeps people in the web of your videos instead of you know wandering off to other people. So that's pretty cool. Um, so a related category. Now I've heard that uh, news ranks faster than other stuff. Okay. Um, but what I would suggest, and more importantly than just a little bit of a gimmick, which that is, to be honest, is um, to be consistent with your channel. And whatever category that you suggest, um, or that you're using, I should say, make sure that all of your videos are the same category. So if it's you know people and blogs or whatever it is, then do that. But just keep it consistent. Um, so here we've got some uh, some badass on-page optimization, so a little bit of ninja stuff here. And this is cool, and for those of you that uh, know uh, Troy Shanks, the SEO Jesus, who really is an, a Jesus at SEO, he rocks. Um, when we were at our Miami Mastermind, and I, I was actually presenting on this, and he was standing there, he actually didn't know this, and I thought it was pretty cool that I was able to teach Troy something. But um, what's cool with this is timestamps, and I guarantee that I know people are going to have questions about this. But you'll see here that it says uh, 0 colon 13 and then a little quick description, you know, 0 colon 38 seconds, a little description, you know, minute 20. What that does is that creates little mini hyperlinks. And if people look in your description and they see that, if they click on that timestamp, it's going to actually bring them to that spot in the video. Now, what's cool with that? it actually counts as another view. So if they were halfway through watching your video, clicked on the timestamp, you actually got two views out of that instead. So that's pretty cool um, in itself. And you could, in that description for each that timestamp, you could say blah, 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 keyword, blah, blah, blah. So it, it is a spot to, uh, you know, to throw your other keyword in again. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I always paste my YouTube URL in the description after the video uploads. Now, that might have just gone over somebody's head, but basically after my video is uploaded, right, that page for the YouTube video actually has a URL. What I'll do is I'll go up to the, uh, the browser bar, I copy and paste that, or sorry, I copy it, and then I go down to the description and I paste it near the end. Now, Lisa, do you have an idea why I would do that? Absolutely, to create a backlink. To create a backlink, that's right. And so basically what happens if people like our video and they embed it on their blog or another website um, or some other stuff, which I'll share with you guys in a, in a bit, um, when your video gets embedded, you're creating backlinks to it, which of course is going to help rank the video. Um, so I, oh, I did say this earlier, put your channel name in your tags or your own personal name if you're trying to get some branding for yourself. And uh, like I already said, basically it's going to show your videos instead of everybody else's. And um, what you can do, there's something called annotations, and I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a second. But and it comes back to wherever there's a chance, throw your keyword in. So what happens in at a certain mark, and you can control what time it comes in, you know, um, I basically uh, you have a call to action. Now you can say stuff as long the lines of, you know, click here to subscribe to my channel and have a link back to your subscribe button. But I said in this case, make sure to check out my FB Ads University bonuses at the end of the uh, at the end of this video. Okay, so that is a call to action. People who are watching. In my review video, probably want to see what bonuses I'm also throwing in my keyword there. So that's pretty cool. So all you do with that, and this is inside your video uh, manager back office, is you just click on annotations, um, add annotation, 
and then uh, pick one of the uh, the drop downs. I usually do a speech bubble or note. Um, a spotlight is something different where if you actually had a, a button um, inside of your video, which you, that's something that you can do in your video editing program, where you could actually um, basically make like a rectangle around that button and then sort of hyperlink that. So click click the button now to go to my page or to subscribe here, and then you just make that link clickable to wherever it is that you set. But in the case of what I'm talking about right now with an annotation, go with a speech bubble or note, and then basically type your keyword in there. And then you can see here down below, and I think I've got it on the next slide, which I do. So you can go up or down or wherever to actually um, place it at different increments in your video. Mm -hmm. So at this case, at 2.8 seconds, my um, annotation pop pops up, and it sticks around till 39 seconds. Okay. So hopefully everybody makes sense. And I know obviously we're going quicker because we've got a lot to go through, but what I would suggest is just click around on all sorts of stuff in the back office of your YouTube account and just, just play around and see where everything is and see what it does, okay? Those buttons are there for you to click on. And there is a spot where you can actually add a link. Um, and for the time being, it does have to link within a Google property there are some ninja ways to, to take people outside of a Google property, whether that's your Google Plus profile, your subscribe button for um, uh, YouTube, a, a playlist or something like that. Um, I'm not going to get into that in this training just because we don't have time and it's kind of ninja. And, and to be honest, I actually did sort of break in YouTube's terms of service. But, um, but what you can safely do is link back to a playlist if you've created a playlist around your keywords uh, to a specific video. So in this case, you know, if I wanted to get people to go to my bonus video uh, where they could find out about bonuses, they could go to that. If I want them to subscribe to my Google Plus channels um, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, I could do that there. Um, okay, and then it opens in a new link, so I just click that button. Um, so make sure to include calls to action to your, or inside of your annotations, whether it's subscribe to my channel, like this video if you agree, comment below with questions because doing that stuff is going to create engagement and uh, we'll go get to that in a bit but that those are all um, things that are going to help you rank a little bit more and then there is a place to edit captions and upload transcripts so you'll see that's right beside where your annotations is and so uh, obviously in most cases we're going to select English there just double click on that um, but one thing I do want to mention YouTube does have a transcription service built in. Um, it does take a while for them to do it. I would usually check back the next day for it, but their spelling sucks. Um, I said in this video, hey, this is Nat Green, and in this video I want to share my FBI's university review, and somehow they got Nat Green as Nagrin or something like that. So their spelling sucks. I mean, it's not a big deal if they misspell my name, but you know, if they misspell the keyword, obviously that's not good. So you can actually go in and edit that stuff after the fact. Um, so just make sure that your keywords are correct, if anything else. That's really the most important. Um, and you could, if, if it was correct, you could actually copy and paste that and use it as a description. But um, you can upload a file, right? So if you had like a Word document or, or a text document, whatever, if you did get it transcribed from uh, Fiverr, then you could just upload it there to choose whatever uh, option you want. And another thing here, um, now this is something where you have to have a verified channel for it, but um, typically YouTube checks, uh, or they give you the choice of having three thumbnails, for, and then they actually take it from your video. Now in most cases, they always catch you where you got your mouth open and your eyes closed and you look retarded. <laughs> and so what I like to do is actually make an image that is actually compelling and it's gonna stand out. And a lot of people don't do this. So if you have, say, 10 videos and it's all, you know, people standing in front of a, you know, a whiteboard and then you've got something with the company logo or whatever, that's going to pop out. It's got color to it. It's going to just be more inviting. And even if you're not number one, the more compelling that your image looks, people are more likely to click on it. And, of course, that's what you want. Now, this is interesting. And literally, I've been through, like, probably 100 different video SEO courses and I think, actually, I don't even know if I've ever seen anyone talk say this. But again, what I do is I upload the uh, thumbnail, whether it's a JPEG, 
as a variation of the keyword, right? So it's something similar to what I said earlier with your cover image. So again, it's just another spot to put your um, put your keyword. So okay, the next thing here is off-page optimization. Okay, so there's a bunch of different factors to it. There's comments. So the more comments that you have, um, that's going to help, right? Because that's engagement on your video and on your channel. Obviously, how many likes and even dislikes actually. Although dislikes necessarily isn't a good thing, it's engagement on your channel, and they actually both uh, help. Subscribers, um, backlinks, and then embeds, and the view duration. And so I'll, I'm going to go into all those things here in just a second. And so with comments, obviously, the more the merrier, like everything. And that's why it's good to uh, include a call to action and, and you know just ask people to comment uh, with your questions below. Comment if you like this that type of thing. And of course, I always uh, reply, well, I don't always, but <laughs> if I feel like it, I reply to their comment. And with a lot of my videos, even if you get people who are negative, uh, negatively commenting on your uh, channel, I, I leave it. I don't care because it's still engagement and uh, it's helping me rank. So for me, I would rather you know have something that's going to help me rank than some stupid comment. I just ignore haters anyway, so whatever. i got better things to do. Um, I've seen people do this where they get their friends or you know um, they'll buy comments or whatever and uh, you can actually get your keyword in the comment. That's, I mean that works, yeah, but um, I mean most people don't talk with keywords so it kind of just seems unnatural and it kind of seems like you're stuffing so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, subscribers are the next thing and so obviously you want to have a lot of subscribers on your channel so again ask people to subscribe to it but Something else that you would do, and uh, even if you actually start creating your own um, account specifically for you know one or a couple different uh, videos that you're trying to rank for, if you actually go and subscribe to other relevant channels in your niche, that actually helps give you um, weight and helps to optimize your channel because that actually uh, it shows that you're engaging and. You're just not some lump on a log and uh, YouTube likes that. Um, so uh, back things we'll get to in a second, but how many videos on your channel? And, and this is kind of like the pros and cons that I talked about earlier. Obviously, if you have one channel or like Lisa was mentioning, if you have you know a, a one main channel but sort of like sub accounts on it, but with a ton of videos on it, that does help because you've got a lot of videos. You probably have a lot of engagement on those videos. And that does give you extra authority. Of course, the downside to that, which we kind of already touched on before, if somebody flags your channel and you lose, you know, hundreds of videos, you're sort of screwed. So, um, I kind of like the route. Well, to be honest, I actually do both. Like my main channel, the Nat Green Online one, I have a lot of videos on that one. But if I want to get super laser targeted with um, some of my videos, then I'll I'll go the other route. I'll only have one sometimes, or you know, three or four videos on that channel. Um, but that way, if my channel does get flagged, so what? I only lost three instead of three hundred. So um, that's really up to you. Um, as far as backlinks, now this is what when I said earlier that things have been changing. This is one of those things that's changed huge. Social bookmarks is the one thing that is safe. Um, if you're going to be buying backlinks on Fiverr or whatever. This is the link that I suggest because it's social, right? People are sharing these types uh, or you know different types of content on their social media profiles, and it and you know Google and YouTube like it because it basically says, hey, this guy or this girl created awesome content, and people think it's worthy of sharing it. So you know the flip side to that is like um, blog commenting, which I mean you can still do some of that, but don't go crazy with it. Um, if you do that in like profile backlinks, like it's, those are just like spammy types of links. And if you create like, you know, if you go and do the, like, there's tools called uh, like SE Nuke X or you know other different types of automated backlink tools. If you go crazy with that stuff using spammy links, it's not going to work. And like there was a product launch I saw recently, like two weeks ago, where they actually were doing automated backlinking. And they were on the page one of, uh, I think the keyword was, was weight loss, which is like hugely, hugely competitive. And during their launch, 
is when this uh, this huge shift came, and they literally went from page one to like page fifty, like overnight, just because all the backlinks that they were doing were these blog comments, forum profiles, and all that spammy type stuff. So social bookmarks are good um, for whatever reason. I didn't put it on the slide, but if you can get .edu or .gov backlinks, and what those means is the websites that you're getting the backlinks from or from uh, government type sites or educational type sites like universities and colleges by, but uh, they are high authority, so th those are good to get. Um, here's something here, now this is something I do all the way through and whenever I upload a video, I always watch it all the way through the very first time and I always encourage other people to do the same. Now, there's different groups um, on Facebook. I'm, I'm part of a couple. Um, you might want to create your own group where you actually syndicate and help other people uh, to rank the videos. You know, and, and by doing so, you're watching them, you're commenting, you're you know subscribing and liking and all that type of thing. But you want to make sure that people are watching the video all the way to the end. And this is a good reason why you want to have short, compelling videos. If I mean, people don't have time to sit through 15, 20 minutes, but they might have time to do three minutes. So, and, and you can actually look inside of the analytics in the YouTube dashboard, and you can see at what point people are jumping off your videos. So if you see that people are jumping off after, you know, 25 seconds, you can see, well, what did I say there? Why, why are people jumping off? Maybe you said something, you know, that was, you know, offensive or you were boring, your energy which just wasn't very good and people are like, whatever, I'm out. <laughs> so if you got your high energy up without being overboard and, um, you know, you're just giving good content, people are going to stay through to the end and that's super important. Um, it's actually more important to have high engagement all the way through your videos than it actually does for, does for overall views now. And so, like, people will buy views. I, I, I strongly suggest against that um, because it doesn't really matter as much. So do not go buy uh, views. And uh, really, that's about it, you guys. So I just I wanted to give you a cheat sheet here, and, and uh, you don't even have to go opt in for this. I just put this together for you guys. Tons of free value, and just, you know, it's basically just everything I talked about uh, in you know, sort of bullet point. Um, all you have to do is go to natgreenonline.com forward slash cheat dash sheet. So just go there right now. You can get my my cheat sheet, and uh, you can use that as a reference point. So when you're creating your channels and your videos, you can go back through, and uh, you know, this you don't you don't have to think about it. If you if you miss a step, you can just refer back, and and that's hey, it. Could you uh, repeat that URL? Yeah, I'll uh, actually it, post. I'll actually post the link in the comments below. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so it's natgreenonline.com forward slash cheat, which is C H E A T dash sheet S H E E T. Natgreenonline.com slash cheat dash sheet, and Lisa's put it in right there. And this is and this is for them to download your cheat sheet. Yeah. Download a YouTube. Cheat sheet. How do, Lisa, how do I get? Am I, am I still on screen share, or how, how do I get off this? I, I um, give me one second. Yes, yeah, so I can see your face. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so all I was gonna say, I mean, that that's basically it. The the big thing I would say, you guys, is take action on this stuff. It works. I mean, I've made thousands of dollars with local clients. I've gotten signups into my business. I get leads every day on autopilot, and, and the the big thing here is this, okay? If, if you take massive action and shoot a ton of videos, don't be attached to any one specific video. One might not rank, right? But if you do, you know, one video a day, in 30 days you've got videos out there. In 60 days you've got 60 day, uh, videos out there. What if you did two videos a day, three videos a day, whatever? Just take action on this. And I mean, you know, like the Hangout said, you know, having an army of minions. The cool thing with this, you guys, you create the content once, and as long as it doesn't get flagged and taken down, it's there forever for you, right? Now, you know, things might change. Maybe you, you know, you change your business opportunity or whatever it is, but you can go back into the video description and put in a different link, right? So wherever you were sending them before, now you're sending them to a more current offer or whatever, right? So just take action on this. The stuff works. Um, video is powerful. 
there's actually two things that I want to include also. Um, you know, and this, this obviously what you're training is basically free stuff. However, there is, uh, you know, some PPC, YouTube PPC. YouTube actually has a section where you can actually pay uh, to get ranked, you know, to have your ad stuck up at the top for no matter, you know, what keyword you're trying to rank for. Um, and it works the same way as Facebook you know, pay-per-click or Google pay-per-click or whatever, you're paying to get your ad stuck up on the top. So that may be another option if you're really trying to rank for a specific um, video. Right. Actually, well, and, and that brings up two points. One is that when you're all in with the prosperity team, and you should be, and if not, it's something to work towards, right? John Morose, who I think he just, oh, yeah, he just crossed the million-dollar mark. He has an incredible training that he shows you step by step by step, basically just what I did, but he does it for the pay-per-click side of things. One campaign where he, he said he took one day to set it up, and at the point where he had shot it, I think it was eight months later, and he had made $80,000 from that one campaign. Wow. So obviously, you know, you might not get the exact same results or whatever, an income disclaimer here, but that is awesome. And, and my second point with that, which this is something I just learned, like, two weeks ago, instead of taking money and going to buy views on Fiverr or, you know, VagX or Viewit or all these other different types of sites where you can buy views, spend five bucks or ten bucks or whatever on buying views through YouTube pay-per-click targeted to people who are actually looking for your keyword. So you're still getting views, but these are targeted views for people who are looking for your video. So by them, you know, basically for you paying to get the clicks now they're watching your video and you might actually like you you it's a win win you're getting the clicks you're getting the traffic and you're getting the views which is going to help rank your video so that's that's huge and and they're actually real views and not like yeah. bot views yeah they they they're real views from targeted people which you know targeted being the key word there right like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because when when you're buying views like you know it could be someone from you know India or whatever who and, and you know no offense to people who are in India but you know it's from, I mean maybe the opportunity or the product that you're selling is you know it's not valid in India or you know what I mean? It's just there's no point getting a 30 second view from somebody who doesn't give a crap about what it is that you're trying to sell in your video, or is getting real views by people who are looking for your keyword makes a heck of a lot more sense, right? So right, exactly. And the second thing I wanted to throw out there is actually join a video syndication group on Facebook. Now I actually have one that is open to everybody no matter what it is that you're out there promoting. It doesn't matter if you're an Empower Network, it doesn't matter if you're an Amway, it doesn't matter what company you're with, what product you promote. We actually I actually started a group where we have two sections inside the group. One is for blogs. So if you have a blog post and you want to get traffic to your blog post and you want to get likes and comments and shares and stuff on your blog post, you can put it in the blog post, post sec section of the group. If you have a YouTube video, you can actually go to the actual thread on, in that group and post your YouTube video there. And it doesn't matter if there's, you know, what it is that you're promoting. You can promote whatever it is. The purpose of this group is for syndication only. So um, what you would do is you ha there's a commitment. There is a commitment. So if you're going to be joining this group, you got to make sure that you're committed to blogging and videos or one of the other, okay? Um, the reason why is because we want activity in the group. We don't want any slackers. We don't want people that are just going to post their stuff in there and not return the favor. So if you're in that group and you post your video, let's say, for example, and you want your video to get likes and comments and, you know, things like that, then you need to return the favor to five other people. So you need to look at five other people's videos in that group, go and like and comment on their videos and subscribe to their channels in return. Okay? That's the deal. <laughs> That's the commitment. So if you can commit to that, then you can join our group. If you cannot commit to that, go somewhere else and do it your own way. But you will get kicked out because I very this is a very small group because I've kicked out a lot of people who are slackers because I don't play those games. 
if you're going to be serious about blogging and if you're going to be serious about videos, then you have to be serious about helping other people inside of our community. So if that interests you, here's what I want you to do. Uh, I'm actually going to share my screen for one second before we end this broadcast. Um, let's see, where is my Facebook? Okay, so this is the name of the group. You can find us on Facebook. It's called blog forward slash vlog. Vlog meaning a video blog, if that's what you're doing. So blog, vlog, love club. This is the name right here. You could see it here. Blog, vlog, love club. <laughs> and why did I call it that? Because you're posting blog posts, but you're also posting your videos on your blog posts and you're sharing it there too, or you're, you're doing blog, meaning like you're just doing videos. And so we have two sections in here. So let me show you the two sections really quickly. Um, and again, there is no spamming. So if your intentions are to come in here spam, you got another thing coming because you will get blocked <laughs> and removed. Um, so basically, here's the rule. You post your blog post links here, and you syndicate five other, five other members' posts. Right? So as you can see here, everybody's posting their blog posts. There's like 278 people that posted their blogs, and all you have to do is go to their blog, like, and leave a comment, and go to the next one. You have to do that five times, and then you can go about your business. That's the commitment. The same thing with the video section. Um, right down here, we have post your YouTube links here and comment on at least five members' videos. And as you can see here, we've got like 317 videos on here. Um, and all you have to do is post your post your link here, and then choose the pre the last five people that actually post it. Right. So for example, if I go down here, let's see what's the last one. Um, Oh, there's so many videos over here. <laughs> okay, so the last one, right? So what you would do is you would actually go to one, two, three, four, five, or whatever, and go comment on those videos and go subscribe and stuff. And that is how we've been getting extra likes, extra shares, extra comments, things like that, getting involved in a community. Now, as you can see, this is a very small group. There's only 49 members in this group. I've had oh, close to 100 members, and believe it or not, there's a lot of people that actually slack. And believe you me, I will remove you. <laughs> because like I said before, this is a group of serious video marketers and uh, you know bloggers, and I don't play those games. So if you're coming in here to spam or if you're coming in here to be a slacker, do not bother to join that group. So again, it's called Blog Vlog love club because we're sharing the love with each other. So with that being said, um, thank you so much Nat for sharing your golden nuggets. I'm going to see if we have any last questions before yeah. we roll out of here. Yeah, I'll um, just uh, mention, I'll, I'll try to go through and answer some of the questions after the fact or whatever, but if people want to connect with me on Facebook or whatever, I'm pretty open and you know, willing to help people out uh, as long as it doesn't take too much time. But uh, you know, I'll go over and answer some of your questions. So just connect on Facebook. Um, my URL. Well, I'm easy to find anyway. But you can find the URL and cheat sheet to friend me. Yes. Of course, subscribe so we, on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have any more questions except the fact that uh, here. Let me. I'll post the name of the group inside here. Uh, syndication. I'm gonna post it in the comments below in just a second. Syndication group name is blog forward slash vlog love club. So all you have to do is copy that, paste it into Facebook, and then you'll find it. And you just request um, to join, and I'll let you in. But again, I will be kicking you out if I don't see any activities. That's right. All right. So. There you have it. So thanks so much again, Nat, no problem. Uh, for hanging out with me tonight and sharing this valuable, 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 value, valuable information. I know it to be true because I actually do it. And there's actually a few things that I actually learned from you tonight, uh, Nat, and that was actually um, using the timestamps. I, I wasn't doing that in my video, so I'm definitely going to add that um, to my little bag of tricks. My, my little bag of YouTube tricks. <laughs>
That's so thank thinking. you so much. A lot, a lot of people don't do that. Uh, I mean, it, it's one of those things. I don't do it all the time, but it's just one more thing you can do, right? So, you know, again, to what I said at the very beginning, you don't have to do everything that I talked about, but you can do some of those things, and if you need to do one more thing here and there, it, it works, right? It all adds up. Absolutely, and I actually have a one last question. Do you do videos daily? Um, my plan is, but sometimes I fall off. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that—that's that, definitely the, the the idea, right? It's just you know consistent action with it. And I mean sometimes my videos they're more of like a blog related video where I'm actually you know not actually trying to rank for something. Um, but you know I mean that's more of a social stuff. You hope that you hit on something good and people share it around versus actually getting organic traffic, you know, for years to to come kind of thing. Do do both, right? What whatever works for you, but. Video has been huge for me, um, not only in commission-wise and getting new teammates and stuff, but I mean, it's even cool going to the Empower events and people I've never met, like, hey, Nat, what's up? And I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, it's because they've seen my videos, right? People think they know you because of video, so it's powerful. Awesome. Uh, one last question. Is there a specific code to use for timestamps? I'm not sure what that means, but maybe you want to answer yeah, I know, that. I, I know what that means. Just type it out exactly how you see it. So like one minute colon 23 seconds. YouTube automatically does that. And I, I know people think that you have to do like HTTP slash timestamp or something. You don't. YouTube recognizes it and it just makes it like that as it is. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Um, here's what we want to encourage you to do. We want to encourage you, first of all, to take action on the stuff that you learned tonight on our Hangout. And number two, I don't care what it is that you're out there promoting. I don't care what your passions are, OK? If you want to build a successful business, it is an absolute must that you start blogging, and that you have marketing training because the only thing that will push you forward in this industry okay the only thing that will push you forward is in is, is in, in this industry is that if you have the skill sets under your belt the skill sets the tools and the system under your belt to make your dreams come true right to earn the commissions that you've been dreaming about if you have the system, if you have the skill sets and the tools, you can make that possible. So what we want to encourage you to do is that we actually have the system and we have the training and we have the tools right here. And all you have to do is click the button right underneath this video and lock arms with us today for just $25. You know, he talked about, Nat, you talked about one of the trainings that we had on our team uh, with um, you know John and Rose, uh, I forgot the name of the the, the training that it was. Yeah, uh, it's in the master's level. I think it's just YouTube pay per click. I mean, it's not a fancy name, but it's awesome. <laughs> I okay, mean, well, even yeah. even uh, that's on the master's level because we have different levels in our system. But even at the basic level, not only are you going are you going to get a plug and play blog, not only are you going to get you know some basic eight core steps to getting started right but you're also gonna get a shitload <laughs> of free training inside of our team site so you definitely want to take advantage of that for twenty five dollars a month I mean come on twenty I mean twenty five dollars a month isn't even anything to think about it's like it's nothing to even question it's nothing to say well don't have first of all if you don't have twenty five dollars that's a problem that's why you need to get in here and get involved on, on our community and find the $25 just to get involved so that you can learn the skill sets that you need to be successful. So with that being said, click the link below, lock arms with us today, and we will see you same time, same place, next Wednesday, 8 o'clock, right here on our next training. Next week is going to be exciting, too, because we have Alex and Anna, one of the top income earners inside of our system, coming to train you. Alex and Anna Zubareff will be on next week, and I'm so excited for that one because those are my really good friends. So with that being said, thank you again, Nat. Cool. You betcha. Thanks, guys. Yes, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. -bye.